and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Tom Beck and I'm a DB2 software consultant at BMC Software. This is the third and final quick course in a series of three brief sessions describing NGT utility output. Today's topic will discuss NGT failures, the output you'll need to supply to BMC customer support, and where to find it should you need assistance identifying or resolving a problem. NGT utility output is vastly different than traditional utility output for two main reasons. First, when you submit an NGT utility job, it's possible the job you submitted will likely submit other jobs to complete its work called servers. Second, both the master job and any server jobs submitted by the master share a common vSAM file known as the journal. The journal file contains highly detailed information about the utility itself, the objects it was operating on, and can be used by BMC customer support for problem determination. Journal output could also be written to sysout if desired, but tends to be verbose. The journal vSAM file inherits its name using the value of the plus work prefix, followed by two nodes uniquely generated by the utility itself, and finally, ending in dot out 001. Journal output usually provides BMC support enough information about a problem that the need to rerun or recreate a problem is rare. The journal output in the vSAM file is automatically echoed back to the job in a dynamically allocated journal out DD upon failure and is easy to supply to BMC support without having to rerun. In addition to the journal output, most events will write a mini dump to a member in the log PDS dataset. You can find the name of the log PDS dataset in the JES messages output, and the member name containing the mini dump can be found in the NGT print output. Having both the journal output and the log PDS member associated with a failure, BMC support can normally provide a resolution to almost any utility problem without the need of additional runs or SVC dumps. Sometimes it may be necessary to get the journal output for a job that ends successfully. You might have a job that completes successfully, but you're concerned with its elapsed time or some other performance factor, and you'd simply like to investigate. The JCL shown here can provide you the journal output for a successful job. A copy of this job is provided for you in the BMC Control PDS in the CDB1 DBT2 member for this purpose. This job is similar to a vSAM repro for the purpose of retrieving and providing journal output of a successful job. Remember to use the plus delete output no parameter or you'll have to rerun the utility to produce the files to be extracted. A best practice tip for new NGT users is to use the plus delete output no parameter with a small number of plus output age days until you're comfortable viewing NGT output. After you're comfortable with viewing NGT output, you should consider using the plus delete output yes parameter. Should the need arise to send job output to BMC support for problem determination, the journal would certainly be necessary and can be obtained from the output of the master job. For a BENS, a log PDS member was most likely produced and can be identified in the NGT print output. This member should also be provided to BMC support along with the journal output for problem determination and resolution. For convenience, BMC support has developed a tool to assist in gathering the necessary output and diagnostic information to send to support should the need arise. More information on the use of the BMC support tool to help quickly gather and send problem and diagnostic information is available on the BMC support site at the link shown here. Thank you for your time and interest in our BMC Quick Course series today.